Michelle Baird, and today I have a body weight strength focused on lower body and core workout for us. Um, there are two separate circuits. The first circuit, I really like the timing of this. We did this a couple weeks ago where um, we have two exercises, and we're going to do the first exercise for a minute. And in the second exercise, we do in Tabata format, but like half of a Tabata. So four rounds of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds rest. And then we come back to that first move and we do it for that half of a Tabata round. And then we repeat the second move for a minute. And then we're going to mash up the two moves and we're going to do them on the right side for a minute and on the left side for a minute. So it's a total of about eight minutes for those two exercises. And then we have a core circuit that we're going to end with that's four exercises, 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest between the two. Um, please, please, please be kind to your body and warm up before you start this workout. I have linked some warm up, uh, a warm up playlist in the description below. And if you saw the card at the beginning of the video, there was a warm up link there as well. It is so important to warm up. I can't stress it enough. I'm sure you've heard me say it a million times before. So I'm not going to say it anymore in this workout, but just make sure that you warm up. All right, I'm going to hit the timer. And our first move is going to be alternating lateral lunges for a minute. So come to the center of your mat and we'll step the left leg out, come back to center, step the right leg out, come back to center. So this is the base of this exercise. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can do a knee drive as you come to center. You can do a little hop as you come to center. You make it yours, okay? So it's a combination between a hinge and a squat as you come back. So think someone's pulling your hips back and stretching your chest forward. You can bring your hands behind your head. That forces your core to have to engage a little bit more. And then make sure that all 10 toes are facing forward. Exhale as you press and squeeze to come up to stand and inhale as you come through center. Now we're moving on to the second exercise in those Tabata timing rounds and it's a tiptoe squat. I'm going to press my left toes into the mat, come up to stand, right toes. And I'm going to alternate. You can make it harder by staying low. As you come up, squeeze your buns. But don't let your hips press forward to overextend your low back. And then you can just keep those hands at the front of your heart. Okay, we're going to do that three more times for 20 seconds each. All right, tiptoe, sit your butt way back, come up to stand. So really, um, the foot that's flat on the mat is doing all the work. This is like, per, this would like be a base move for a pistol squat, which is a one-legged squat. You could also, if you were staying on one side, elevate those toes on like a block or, I don't know, a curb. All right, this is round three. Make sure that those knees aren't caving in squeezing into the whole glute to come up to stand and to keep those knees nice and safe. Okay, we have one more round of these. Three, two, one. This is not the last time we will do this exercise. It's just the last time we will do it in this timer format. The next time we do it, it will be for a minute straight. All right, so now we have this same Tabata timing back to the lateral lunges. So feet about hip width distance apart. We're gonna take a big step out 
with the left leg, come back to center, and then right. And remember, you can make this more difficult if you want to add that little hop at the center, add the hop. If you want to add some sort of twist, you can add a twist, okay? Three more rounds of those. This time I'm going to step my right leg out first. Doesn't really matter. I mean, you could also bring opposite hand to opposite foot. There are all sorts of ways that you can make this uniquely yours. Okay, we have two more rounds of that. I'll step out to the left again this time. Just alternating, not really. So we stretch the inner thigh of the extended leg, of the long straight leg, and then we're working the glute, hamstring, quad, inner thigh on the bent knee. I'm going to step to the right to start this time. Hopefully, you are definitely feeling a little bit stronger in these legs. So we're going to come back after this next five seconds. We'll be back to the second exercise, which is those tiptoe squats for a minute. So the way I'm going to do it is I am going to tiptoe my right toes for the first 30 seconds. And then I'll, I'll let you know when the 30 seconds are up. Or you can keep your eye on the timer, but I will, so you don't have to. So staying on the right, and you can always add dumbbells to this. Um, I programmed it as a body weight workout. Make sure that your chest is staying open so your heart is open your shoulder blades are squeezing together in seven seconds we're going to change sides in four three two one so right foot is flat and we're up on the left tippy toes this time and so after this we're going to hold the squat into the lateral lunge on one side, and then squat into the lateral lunge on the other side for a minute each. And since I'm doing the left right now, we're gonna start on the right. Okay, so what that's gonna look like is a tiptoe squat on the right, come up, step the right foot out to a lunge, come back to center. All right, that's our bell, tiptoe squat, Step the right foot out, lateral lunge. Tiptoe squat, lateral lunge. So we'll be on this side for a minute, and then we'll do the other side for a minute, and then we have our core, circuit. Boy, <laughs> feels a lot longer than the other minutes that we just worked. I don't know why. Make sure the weight stays back in the heel as you lunge into that lateral lunge. Okay, shake it out. We're going to do the other side. <sighs> Take in some nice deep breaths. <clears throat> All right, ready position. Left tip toes are on the mat. Squat, press up to stand, lateral lunge. Squat, stand, lateral lunge. So if you had dumbbells, you could rack them on your shoulders or you could have them down by your side totally up to you. So if you do this workout again and you want to mix it up a little bit, you could add in dumbbells. My hair keeps getting in my eye and it is tickling. 
So again, make sure that the knees are pressing out. Last second. All right, so that was the end of the first circuit. And then now we're gonna come into our core circuit where we're going to work for 40 seconds, 10 seconds rest. There's four different moves. Actually, the first move is one on the right and one on the left, and then the second move is both sides, and the third move is also both sides. Okay, I'm gonna hit this timer. You're gonna meet me flat on your back for a single leg V up. So I'm gonna extend my arms overhead and I'm gonna bring both hands to my left foot to start. So head, neck, and shoulders roll up first, creating that C curve in your spine and then extend. If you're feeling extra spicy, you could hover that right foot off the mat, but certainly you do not need to. You could also add dumbbells, light dumbbells, to your hands. All right, same move, other side. Take a 10 second regroup and at the bell, it's gonna be hands to the right foot. So I'm not like throwing myself into this, it's very controlled. As soon as my head, neck, and shoulders begin to lift off the mat, my front ribs drop down, my belly button back in and up, and then I create that C curve in my spine.
All right, other side. Exhale, contract the core, pull the pelvic floor in. So again, you can have light, like three or five pound dumbbells in your hands for this one. Inhaling as you roll down and exhaling to engage your core to roll up. Okay, get it together, bicycles. Low back, glued to the mat, knees directly over the hips, head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, elbows wide so that you cannot see them in your peripheral vision, and then hover that bottom leg, think about pressing a wall or something away from you with that heel. Exhaling, blow out the candles as you twist. Inhaling, smell the flowers as you come through center. Okay, <laughs> tricep dips and then we are done. So palms under shoulders, come up, press into your feet and then use that bend in your elbow and your tricep strength. So elbows keep pushing back, pointing back, like those little cricket wings. Shoulders stay open, not hunching forward. Chest is lifting towards the ceiling, and I am not thrusting my hips at all. They lift and lower because of the work that is going on in my triceps. And that, my friends, is the conclusion of the workout. If you are done, please cool down for at least five minutes. If you are not done, just jump right into the next workout. I have several, several, several playlists on my channel that you can choose from. I'm gonna peel myself up from the mat here. <laughs> um, please continue to show up, be consistent for yourself, make safe choices, drink a lot of water, get some sunshine, and get back here as soon as you can to join me for more workouts. Thank you. I will see you soon.